MMAweekly.com. We're here at the 2012 Fighters Only MMA Awards. We're here with host extraordinaire and uh, seemingly the man in black, the bad guy, all black. The bad guy always wears black. Shale Sudden, are we are we saying anything with this get up or? No, man, it speaks for itself. <laughs> what, can, what what else needs to be said? A picture is worth a thousand words. I love it. I love it. All right, 2012, crazy year. A uh, few big stories. We had Ronda, but the one thing I wanted to talk to you about, and I've been thinking about this all week, was 151. It's I mean, a lot of momentum. It's leading to Aaron John's fight here in the future. When you look back on the year, what is that card and kind of the year encompassed to you? Well, I try not to look back. I, 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 I'm the other way, man. I, I move forward, you know. I know, but we're here celebrating 2012. Sure. Yeah. And uh, the bottom line, let's start from the beginning. You bring up Ronda Rousey, and she is spectacular. And uh, she, she has done more for her industry, which is women's mixed martial arts, than anybody ever has, and I truly believe in my lifetime ever will. If not, just the, the, the future of time as we know it. She's a world champion, two-time Olympian, world champion, won a bronze medal for our country in the Olympic Games, strike force champion, UFC champion. Uh, she's awesome. Good for her. And I always like to bring up in a sport where kind of killing in the name, you're, you know, violence is the name of the game, and being buried is kind of the name of the game. She's managed to go into the sport where everyone knows what she's going to try to do, and she's accomplished that in the first round via the same way. Sure. That's really special. Hello. Yeah, well, it's not really that special. It's, it's a lesson to people. You, you don't ever focus on your opponent. You focus on yourself. And, uh, you know, I'm the same way. I will tell you exactly what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to walk out and do it. And you're not going to do anything about it except dwell on it the night before when you're in bed. Uh, focus on yourself. That's what she does. She works on arm bars every day and she goes on arm bars, people. And if you want to get into strategy and statistics, go play checkers. This is a fist fight in a steel cage on Saturday night. That's it. There's nothing more unsophisticated than this. Really? I mean, they say it's 90% mental. People do game plan, but I do get your point. Focus on yourself and go in there and do what you need to do. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so 2013, we're looking ahead. We got you and John in April. Uh, you're filming the new season of The Ultimate Fighter. Uh, like I did talk about, 151 did stymie some momentum into 2012. What do you see and how do you see that correlating between 2012 and the future in 2013 as you were talking about? You know, I forgot about it until you just brought it up. So I, I'm not sure about the momentum that it stymied. Uh, and that's not to say that you're not accurate. I just mean I, I personally haven't felt it. Uh, you know, it's, it, time only moves in one direction and that's forward. And, and on, on April 27th of 2013, the biggest fight in the history of the light heavyweight division will go down. Jones and Sonnen, champion versus icon, will finally take place. Well.